All right, we're going to be talking about something interesting, porn. Um, you guys have watched it. I've watched it. We all watch it at some point. Um, everyone's got very mixed feelings on it, very uh, different feelings. Um, I have not seen this video at all about this. Um, so I don't know if it's based or not. I have varied, varied reasons for disliking porn um, and thinking it's bad for people. Um, but I do think it's not going anywhere. And I do think there should be like... I made it just in time for porn exactly we're talking about the real stuff now guys like like, like porn porn is a very touchy subject literally because you're always you know how they're fucking they're always touching each other all right no more puns all right we we're, there's gonna be some puns tonight let me get that way you know you know fucking we can make some porn puns let's have let's have a little fun with this now this is gonna be a more serious topic i want to engage with you guys see what you guys think about it and uh personally if you guys really think about it and challenge yourself and, and you don't have to say anything in chat but like you know sit back if you do watch porn that's fine i'm not here to judge you i'm not saying you're a bad person i'm not saying it's gonna fuck you up it might but sit back and think if it does how, how is it affecting me how is it affecting my mental health how is it affecting how i see my other partners other sexual partners etc you know people in the industry and mixed feelings about it me too uh i don't i i think women in the industry um it should be i think porn should be more regulated um i don't think it's going anywhere there will always be porn no getting rid of porn so we need to find safe ways we need to stigmatize it and we need to talk about it we need to talk about it you know i read it more than watch it um i don't i don't I don't, I've not looked at it that mighty, so I have no idea, um, about, like, that kind of stuff. I, I would think it's a little different, because I think visual stimulus, stimulation for humans is very different than an imagination. Um, uh, humans are, are, are meant to imagine things, they're meant to fucking, you know, like, you know, create ideas in their head, and think of these things, like, you know, like, what boy doesn't fantasize about fucking a girl, you know, his teacher, when he's in, in high school, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, that's part of it, not seeing it, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's just get into it. It's a four minute video. I think it's a given fact that most of you watching have seen porn before. I mean, it would be pretty hard to actually find someone who hasn't. They say, they say there's two types of people in this world. There's people who watch porn, and there's people who fucking lie about it. And even then, we all know And that then there's me, who never watches porn. I probably lie. Anymore. Fact, it's so common that from an early age, we've actually seen sex and right hardcore now. porn before our first kiss. You know, back in my- Same, isn't that not crazy? Nowadays, a lot of kids see hardcore sex before their first kiss people see this stuff in high school they see it in middle school porn is so readily available people are people are, are getting addicted to watching porn earlier than ever it's so easy and 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 you can't you can't say oh it's there's no easy access for for uh people under age it's very easily accessible by anyone my old school it's like people who pee in the shower wait you pee in the shower i don't pee in the shower wait what before they were like nude mags Some of well yeah the kids would mention about this thing they had seen at the innocent age of 11. Many of them seeing things that would have traumatized our ancestors. Even in schools, sex education is increasingly massive and more explicit than ever before. And with porn they now just- lying then. Now with- I bro, I don't piss in the shower, what? Bro, now I don't disagree with that. I think that we do need to have more sex education in school. And I think the less taboo we make these topics, um, and the, the more people um, give real takes, real experiences, and real opinions, on how it can affect you and give more facts and more evidence and more resources where you can look and find up more information is more helpful rather than less helpful agreed now like you don't want to get too graphic and say some stupid shit but like obviously if it's all educational um i don't think it at the educational material being graphic matters because uh whether you want to believe it or not like your sexual life is a big part of your your life and then how things are going like there are a lot of dudes for example like uh, fucking in discord today um there's this fucking dude who just hits up every single female he fucking sees it's like that's like like it's like life revolves around the pursuit of women it's like he can't just be in a group around them and just speak to them he's got to like pursue them like like it, it affects everything like like your 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 attraction to someone it's not just sex and porn your attraction is to things like your your horniness your lust your you're wanting to love someone whatever it is whatever the feeling is just going after someone is a huge part of your life once you do, once you lie about doing it, I guess, I guess we're, we're lying, mighty. <laughs> Ever strong. Now, I don't, now, guys, I wouldn't say he's a creep, and I, I, I'm not going to roast him, um, because he has stated he has autism, and so the thing is, if, if he, if he has autism, um, which, you know, whatever, I don't give a fuck, uh, if he does or doesn't, but at the same time, like, he's not going to be as socially aware and you guys have been around autistic people in real life at your school, so you gotta, you gotta, uh, you gotta understand. And so what I'm trying to do is, you guys know me. If someone thinks differently, they don't act the right way or whatever. I don't like blocking or banning them because I, I think 
that's the problem we have nowadays. We just block, we ban, we throw to the side anyone that's different, anyone that acts bad, anyone that acts weird. And so I really want to try to, you know, just like, you know, mentor and, and be more, be more, uh, be more, I don't know, I don't know, more, more guidance, maybe a role model. Not talking, is like, come on, but I'm not standing in a... <laughs> to click away, is its rise the reason for a generation of sexist young men? And even more importantly, is porn actually a poison to society? It was the year 2007, and the rise of porn began with the founding of both Pornhub and X videos. And it was also around this time that YouTube was starting to take off as well. It was a transformative moment in time, making porn and entertainment instant and free on these new social media platforms. And with this came a new age of instant gratification that has stunted society since. You know, before this, you'd go rent a porno at the shop or order on a catalog, and most likely it wouldn't have hurt you. But the fact is, most men now wouldn't find any pleasure in watching a single half hour long porno for $29.99. Men today exactly. have HD hardcore compilations for free. And the emotional reactions we get from this stuff is so powerful that society is becoming more and more numb. All the chemicals flooding our brains make us perceive things like watching porn to be a great achievement. It's hardwired into us. Part of our evolution is that our brain gives us satisfaction and happiness when we believe we are succeeding in something. You know, thousands of years ago, our ancestors would get this when they killed a deer. And now we get this in the modern world, when we get straight A's or a pay mm -hmm. rise at work. But after 2007, our brains adapted to how much dopamine we were getting from porn and entertainment. See, the more dopamine you're shoveling into your brain, the more you build up a tolerance. And so your brain develops more see that's what i'm saying guys quick pleasure these quick things like like just going and looking at a woman jerking off orgasming it's bad for you it's fucking bad for you dude it's terrible like 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 if you get horny and you just want to like uh you go go look at whatever fetish or not fetish like whatever like what you prefer on pornhub like you know big booby bitches you know, like you jerk off to that that's terrible for you bro that's fucking it's gonna ruin you it's gonna ruin your idea of sex how, how you feel sex and you might not think it does you might not think it does but that's the problem that's the problem you're not realizing it the people just like never get laid and die virgin sometimes it's not because of behavior personality they could be disabled in some way or just not be able to opportunity if porn helps them do what they do that's fine but i also don't think you should access the I should have access to gay porn on my Nintendo DS at 14 years old. I mean, yeah, exactly. I mean, bro, I watched not gay porn, but I watched porn on my on my DS when I was a child, when I was a kid. Porn on your what? If you didn't watch porn on your DS, then why did you have a DS? Receptors to absorb said dopamine. Your brain gets used to it. Bro, I looked up. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I looked up hot girls kissing all the time on my DS. That was my thing. I, bro, when I was a 14 year old boy, I was, I was I was like I was like hot teen girls kissing. <laughs> I just played in ten dogs, bro. I'll be playing Pokemon. I'll be like, I'm a little horny. Well, I'll look up some 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 <laughs> gay porn. Is, I guess that is technically gay porn. But then you have all these extra receptors that need to be fed dopamine. Just with and if girls. You don't get fed enough, it's gonna make you unhappy. Pleasurable activities won't be able to meet your neurological standards anymore. You gotta go to something harder. You gotta get more and more hardcore porn, more and more hardcore porn. And I I'm not I I don't shame kinks. I don't shame fetishes. Um, but there are harmful fetishes. There are harmful kinks that are bad for your mental health, bad for your physical health, bad, just bad overall. I'm such a nerd. So you become hooked on the only things that can provide you instant pleasure. Think of it like this. You're a skinny guy and you eat a regular burger from McDonald's and you're incredibly full. But when you eat this burger for every meal for a month, your body adapts to the input just as your brain grows more dopamine receptors. Your stomach gets bigger, you get fatter, Fast forward, and now you're this big guy where a burger won't fill you up anymore. Now you need maybe two or three. And mm -hmm. so when we fall into this trap of always taking the easy route, we will stumble into an increasingly hollow life that dampens the- The easy route in life always leads to emptiness. You'll always just be a hollow shell. Pleasure and satisfaction of real achievement. Instead of feeling the hunger that could have pushed you to the weight, the hunger pushing you to talk to a girl or make a move can instead be fed by staying at home and being content staring at a screen. And just like that, instant gratification becomes the norm, creating a generation of dysfunction. And you guys might not think it's a big deal because you guys don't do it, because most of you guys are pretty well adjusted socially, and you know, some of you guys are weird. But dude, this is really fucking bad for people. The show is a good one, JK. Some reclusive adolescence, devoid of all self-esteem, miserable and unable to relate. Survey says young men today are having shockingly little sex. The opposite sex. Instant porn has conditioned us to expect every. 
Six is old things. Also, be a quick thing. It's a build up tension connection between two people, and you, you can't forget about the aftercare. There's no pleasure anymore. Exactly. That's why I tell them. I, I always tell people, yes, the orgasm is nice. Yes, the nut is nice. Yes, seeing the body. But it's not about that. Like, like, like life, happiness, relationships is, is all about the work you put into it. Because, guys, if you don't put work in anything, you'll never value it. You'll never fucking value it. And that's just how it is. You got to put work into it. You got to put work, care, sacrifice yourself. You got to, like, like, it has to be some part, some part of you that feels genuine. In, in in the scheme of this, I know you guys are like, oh, it's just fucking sin. I'm just fucking putting my cock in there, or I'm just getting fucked and, and coming because it feels good. And I get that. And 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 if that's what you want to do, like I understand that. But I'm telling you, like 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 look at your life and, and just look around you. Like why not want to have more? Why not want to be happy? Like why not want to be happier? Why not want to have a healthier sexual life? Why not want to find and discover all of these things? I'll settle down by my thirties, and and I understand that. And uh. Like, 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 that's just a choice, and, uh, I like sex to be more than that, they're like, yeah, and almost died and had to work from the age of five, so I turned to food, because it was all I had, I'm like, Jesus Christ, damn. Everything for nothing, giving us a bigger chemical release than anything else for literally no effort whatsoever. For many- What up, Eddie? Porn will prevent them from actually having the desire to find a meaningful relationship in the first place. And in the larger picture, Thank you, JK. this rise in constant dopamine may be the very reason behind why drugs, depression, anxiety, and obesity have increased so much in the last few years. And so guys, when you when you when you give into these bad temptations, when you give into these habits of, of just fucking anyone or watching porn or using dating apps or all or gambling, all these negative dopamine hits and stuff like that, it affects you. It gives you anxiety, it gives you depression, it, ma it makes you in, in, in your real life, in your real world, it puts you in a bubble, it puts fog on you, it, it puts like like I said, the fucking matrix it puts the fucking cables and you is holding you back there's so much holding you back and i promise you if you guys let some of this stuff go you just fucking cut the cord and let it go and just breathe and be yourself and not be held back by the restraints of all these fucking habits and these vices that you know are bad like like, like mighty i love you bro but if, if you why settle down in your 30s because you know like it's not sustainable it, like like you, you want to be loved everyone needs to be loved like, if you say that, you don't, you're lying. It's built into your brain. Humans do not function. Like, like you can see it in animals. Some animals, they can have multiple partners, but there are certain animals out there that need a singular partner, and they stay with that partner until death. And that's how humans are built. Humans are built the same way. I don't think I don't think it's the heart of moral bankruptcy and depression and mental illness uh, of all society, like this guy is saying. No, I don't I don't think so either. Um, but I do, I do think it plagues uh, young men really bad. Um and is is a huge contributor to a misunderstanding in in how men see themselves in their own sexual life and how men perceive women um especially now i do think women handle it a lot better and women are, are a little more um and, and you guys know i fucking bash women too for certain things they do and so this one i'm, I'm gonna say guys listen bro women women understand themselves better when it comes to sex and things like that and men are way more confused men have way too many strong hormones acting against them that clouds their judgment when it comes to things like 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 anything to do with sex or relationships or women um especially i think it's because people are over overworked and they'll turn to anything give them a slight glimmer of happiness or pleasure that's what i'm saying that's what we got to change that mindset even if you are overworked you have to fucking find something an outlet a, a, a part of your passion uh, a passion project of some of some kind love would be nice but fooling around is somewhat okay right now that's what i'm saying like <laughs> we got to get people out of that mindset you you you, you're, you don't want to be alone i mean you were right you you need to be okay being alone. if you're if you're alone and you're single that's great that's fine and you need to be you need to be confident when you're alone you need to be uh and you can be promiscuous i don't think there's anything wrong with flirting around or whatever um and stuff like that. People don't usually moderate that porn because most people don't think there's any reason they have to. There's very little awareness about the downside too much. And that's what my biggest thing is. I, I say that. I don't think porn is going away. It's not going away. It will never go away. Guys, don't stop watching porn. But people need to be aware of the effects of it. It, it you, you can consume too much porn and people don't get that and they get addicted to it and it ruins them. And it, it, it makes them it makes them like have like a, a huge misunderstanding. And the thing is like, guys, this misunderstanding translates into relationships and ruins relationships and ruins the true connection in relationships when it comes to sex or or it can, or it can you know uh just lead to an awkward moment in the bedroom um where, where both parties feel uncomfortable like that, that can ruin a relationship and also because it's harder to trace the negative symptoms back to porn as opposed to something like sugar which gives you a stomach ache if you eat too much 
For instance, cigarettes. Back in the day when people randomly got cancer, there was no way for them to personally know that it was directly linked to cigarettes. It wasn't until doctors started doing studies and but for others it's porn or food. That's what I'm saying. You you have to be you have to be conscious enough to select good vices, better vices, remove negative things from your life. Like you there's no reason why you're sitting there right now with a negative habit. Vaping, for example. Well I talk about porn too much. Vaping. There's no reason you're sitting there with a negative habit right now. Why? Because you, you vape because you have anxiety and you're depressed, or because of the, the buzz, or you think it's cool. That's stupid. That's fucking dumb. You're making yourself more depressed. You're giving yourself anxiety. You're not going to be cool when you're hooked up to a chemo machine begging for someone to fucking kill you because the chemo is so painful and it's ruining your body and you'll never return back to a normal human being because when you were fucking 18 to 25 years old, you couldn't fucking put a... You couldn't fucking stop sucking on a fucking nick stick. You know? Everyone just needs a cat to occupy them. Yes, actually based. Get a cat. Me alert, as you said that. And we actually started learning more about just how unhealthy cigarettes are that we saw cigarette use go down because people didn't know they were supposed to be moderating it. So exactly. It took the better part of a century for the general population to come to terms with how unhealthy cigarettes are. It's probably going to take a while for people to understand the downside of porn individually and societally as its rise in 2007 is still very new. So perhaps instead of trying to tackle crime... Oh, 100% JK. It's about balance. It's about, it's about telling people the risks what they're doing to themselves they don't know and 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 some of them just don't care like we're not teaching people to care we're like people aren't caring anymore and drug use depression etc like it's not it's not good. like people think oh i don't care anymore i'm a i'm a depressed emo <laughs> like that's not cool you're a fucking loser you're a degenerate and you're bringing society down like like that you're not doing anything cool you're not helping yourself you're not helping anyone else you are literally the reason society is crumbling apart because you don't fucking care at a surface level, we should actually take a step back and look at the. Do foreign body dysmorphia and anxiety and depression because they don't look a certain way? Does that mean working out is bad? Uh, no. So working out is good in a lot of in a lot of ways, and I'll explain to you. Because first of all, fitness you you need to work out. First of all, not working out is not part of the human genetics. Listen, we are made to hunt and run around and move around. Not working out is stupid. You are made to work out. So like like as soon as you stop working out, you stop exercising, your body goes on. A, it, it turns into like an old person. You like the thing is if you, if you got out of high school, like in in most people got out of high school and PE is the last physical activity they ever fucking do. Right? They never fucking exercise or work out again, and their they, their body loses it. And they're like, why do I feel so old and tired? Why is my body changing? Why do I look different? It's because human bodies are not made to become uh, like lazy and, and, and not productive. You have to move around. You have to run. You have to pick up heavy shit. You have to get your heart pumping. That's, that's normal. That's normal. And now the only way humans can get that nowadays is if they have a very physical, uh, physical labor-intensive job or they go to the gym. So... Uh, I would say not exercising, not moving around, which is natural and needed for a human, would cause more depression and anxiety. Now, body dysmorphia is a real thing, and I understand that, and that's definitely a struggle a lot of people go with who, who exercise. Um, we're also made to reproduce and spread our genetics, but here's the thing is, we are human beings, and we are sent, like, we're, we're, our, our, our consciousness has elevated past that. Now, you can't fucking elevate past exercising, you can elevate past, you know, controlling your urges. You know what I mean? It, it, it's in, in no way is like fucking a bunch of people healthy for you. In, in no way could you argue that. Like maybe the cardio of it, the cardio aspect of it. That could be the only reason that you're risking STDs, you're risking your emotions, you're like you're risking so much pregnancy. The outcomes of my actions. Exactly, Mighty. And, and I respect that. I respect Mighty because he's one of the people I smoke because I want to. That's the person I can respect. I, I, I'll never think bad of you for, for having a bad habit or anything. But people say, oh, it's fine. I'll stop smoking or whatever. And it's not a big deal. And oh, it won't really hurt me. I don't like that. But if people smoke like I smoke because I want to, and I understand the risk and I accept that. Exactly. I fucking respect the shit out of that. What's up, LCP? People forget they're literal sex addicts and it's their drug. Drug addicts spend all their money like just trying to get high and that's how it is for sex addicts. That's how people really mess their lives up. P people, and this, this just goes, first of all, sex and sex addictions and porn addictions isn't talked about enough. And also, if you never had one, you never struggled with it, you don't understand how many people are actually going through it and how badly it te tears people down. I'm seeing you're taking all, that, all this into thought. And, and, and porn is not just Pornhub and X videos. It's the, inst bro, Instagram and Twitter is basically porn now. 
Like, bro, I had to, I stopped using, stopped looking at my Instagram stories because, and, and no offense to women, I think women are fucking beautiful. I love boobs, I love ass, like, I fucking love, love looking at, I think women are fucking sexy and gorgeous. But I can't go on Instagram and not see, uh, like, a thousand girls in lingerie. It's bad for my mental health. Bro, we're, as a man, like, back 50 years ago, you were lucky if you saw one woman naked in your life. Now you can see any woman naked at any time, almost. It really ruined my view of sex. And it's because, like, like we don't work... And, and sex in America, especially, is very... It's it's weird. Like, like I, I know people from other countries, and they're way more open about sex, um, and they're way more communicated around it. And here in America, it's like almost like a like a hush-hush thing, almost. Uh, Twitter's basically either politics or not safe for work. I, I, I will say, I will say Twitter is my bad habit. I have... I, I, t I preach about it all the time. TikTok, it's like that. You guys know me, like... I'm on Twitter all the time. Even if you guys don't see me tweeting, like I'm on Twitter a fuck ton, liking shit, going through drama, looking at politics, uh, you know, just everything. The reason why so many of us are slaves to instant dopamine. And that's something I gotta work on. And realize that perhaps the comforting lifestyles we've adopted of constant dopamine hits and pleasure at the click of a finger. This reminds me of the Harry Potter, what are those things? The the Dementors? Are actually the biggest threats to living a happy life, and even more importantly, towards living in a meaningful society. Yeah, I agree with some of the stuff, but I agree with JCat and or who something something about like it being like the the biggest thing poisoning our society. I don't think that is okay. So I want to watch this video. This is from Moon again. Um, this will be our last like this. This one it won't be like super deep, but this is just kind of explaining 4chan because I think a lot of people don't understand what 4chan really was and is and and, and all like it, it's been through and all the stigma it's received. Um, so in 4chan has been a big deal and has changed a lot. Uh, it's weird because I don't care for that unless I've been with you for a while and developed a good enough connection. Then with, I didn't, and it didn't make me uncomfortable. Exactly, that's what you want to find. That's what